Hey, welcome to the Tuesday Talk. We're going into summer and we get a lot of questions from patients who are having light-based therapy. What does that mean going into summer? Well, the biggest thing, of course, is going into summer is that we tend to have more exposure to the sun and therefore may have tanning. Does that have any implications? Yes. For BBL, which is a procedure we come in, have the procedure, you leave, nobody will know you've had anything done, generally speaking. It does have risks because you're delivering energy to the skin. And if you are tan when you come in, the amount of energy that you can tolerate is gonna be less. So if you're given the same dosage, you can have a problem. So before BBL, we don't want anybody who's had any sun exposure or tanning, that's a, that's a no-no. Better just to put off the procedure than take the risk. Now, generally speaking, can you get exposure after the procedure? Yes, you can, but the reason you're having the treatment is because you wanna get rid of some of the pigmentary changes that are a result of sun exposure, so most people don't want to do that. Things like TRL, which is an ablative laser, you have to recover because it's gonna remove layers of skin, and HALO, which is an intermediate procedure, you have about five days of downtime with that. Um, you don't really wanna be in the sun as you recover because it can cause pigmentary problems where you have areas that might turn darker than we wanted them to or that they would have turned to. So generally, you want to avoid sun exposure around the time of any sort of light-based therapy.